at that, you know, there's, I'm planning another three books that aren't, they're, they're in the Kingdom Keepers world. You mm-hmm. know, they aren't, this, this series stops at book seven, but maybe something could come out in that. I've also debated, I saw one of your questions, I've, I've, for a long time, I've debated writing first person accounts from the five Kingdom Keepers points of view. That so that be... we learned a lot more about them individually. Yeah. Maybe that would even be six and Wayne would be thrown in there or something. But uh, I don't know if that will ever happen, but that's something I would be interested mm-hmm. in doing. I think there's even a chance down, way down the road that we could get a film, but it would only be if everybody told ten friends. Yeah. You know? This the, the world would have to get big enough that Disney film would go, hey, we can't ignore this anymore. And they, there are times they don't ignore it. Mm-hmm. And then they sort of say, oh, there's stuff bigger. Than, Let's do Oz, you know, and, yeah. and do much bigger things. It, it definitely um, grows every book, um, ec- really exponentially every book. And uh, I have... Uh, so much fun with the Kingdom Keepers series because the readers are passionate. I'm passionate yeah. about it. I have I have the the coolest opportunity to go into the parks when no one's there and it's dark and spooky and weird. I just got to do that out in um, out in Disneyland and uh, you know do a ton of research out there. Um, it's just, you know, it's it's the coolest thing to be involved in. So much fun for me. Yeah. And then, because the readers respond so favor- favorably to that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it excites me and, and I get all excited and, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's hard to not want to do it. I mean, I just always want to do this. So. You know, I think that her... Um, her look is part of it, mm-hmm. her green skin, and um, the fact that if you look around, um, most lists, including my own, of sort of, you know, horrible Disney villains, she's always very near the top. Yeah. Um, she's, she's a pretty bad person. And she's also, in, at least in my head, She's tied more to our world than a lot of the other villains who seem to be in their own world and their own castle or their own this. Maleficent just has always struck me as somebody you might walk around a corner and bump into. She she bugs me. I mean, I don't, even in person, you know, um, I see her in the parks and I've done videos with her and stuff. And, you know, she's 6'2". And she's got this chin that's like a knife. And she's freaky. I really like the name Finnegan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I named Finn after Finnegan. Although, way, way back. And see, this is the other cool thing about the uh, app that we're going to do. We're going to try to dig up old archival material. So that the KK7 app offers like old emails between me and my editor, um, pieces of books I've cut out, um, videos, photographs, stuff that, you know, is kind of archival Kingdom Keepers history stuff. But Finn's name originally was not spelled F-I-N-N. Oh, no? I really, I, I spelled it P-H. And, and no one liked that but me. And so mm-hmm. I finally went to Finn um, with an F. But... So that's his name. Um, I just liked his name. And Philby was, uh, the real Philby was a spy in World War II who um, got rose way high up in the British spy agency and turned out to be, have Russian connections. Ooh. So he turned out to not be who he was. Maybeck <laughs> is the name of a really cool architect. And there's a, um, he's dead now, but there's a school in Illinois called the Principia College. And uh, you might even be able to Google it, I don't know. And he did the campus up there, and it's British feeling and 
beautiful buildings. I mean, they're just beautiful buildings. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of, uh, you know, an homage to the architect Bernard Maybach. And uh, Charlene, I have no idea where her name came from. All I know is that I'm trying to think of the first time I was writing a scene. I think the first scene in the in the first book, I'd have to, you know, it's been so long, I'd have to look it up. But I think Finn goes over to a school and she's like doing gymnastics on a field or cheerleading on a field yeah. or something. And and I just saw her and and she became Charlene. I mean, it wasn't even something I thought about. It was just like yeah. Charlene. Um, Came naturally. Willa, I don't even know where I got the name Willa. I love that name. That's like, I do too, yeah. but it's, I'm not sure it's even a name. You know? <laughs> it, um, but I really liked it, and again, that wasn't even a choice. That was just something that had to be there. Yeah. Amanda and Jess are two of my favorite characters, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't remember any reason I called them. A lot of with names for me, I will get a vision of somebody, an image. I shouldn't say a vision. Ooh, you know. <laughs> it's really just an image in my head of somebody. And, um, you know, a name pops into my head. Yeah. And sometimes I change it because it's like, you know, Danny or something. And I think, oh, that's not very interesting. Mm -hmm. But um, most of the time I try to just, you know, follow my gut, follow my instinct. <laughs> they can look forward to making it with me. I think it's been done. You know, um. For a long time, the internet was used as a bridging mechanism for story. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to sort of pre-write the book. So what we're doing with Kingdom Keeper 7 is I've been working with uh, a software company at Disney for, um, gosh, almost two years. Um, and it's a little frantic right now because we're coming down to the last <laughs> yeah. weeks of this. But uh, the idea is that readers of the Kingdom Keeper series, or, or even people who've never read it, um, that's fine too, uh, will come into a community, it's a free app, mm -hmm. and I think there will, there will also be a website with, that imitates the app, and we will have fan fiction input, we will have um, the reader help me decide the direction the story is going to go. There will be um, sort of multiple tiered voting. So you can say, well, if it's Philby, then this, and then, then, then they go, you know. And on Sunday, I think it's going to be Sunday nights, uh, I'm going to post, let's say, chapter one and the outline of chapter two. And the readers will have to get on there Monday and Tuesday and read the chapter that's online read the outline and start making their input, their voting, their this and that, so that by Wednesday night we lock it. Um, from then on, I will bury myself in my office and write the next chapter For and post it on Sunday? Sunday night. And on Monday morning, everyone can read and see their input, sometimes their words, sometimes their paragraphs in the book. And then lock down by Wednesday what's going to happen next um, we're going to take some fan fiction through Friday, but the, the voting and all of that. And and we're just going to, for like 40 weeks, we're going to go through, or 30-some weeks, we're going to go through this together and decide the whole, a whole huge part of the book. It starts in about a month. It starts... Uh, as soon as KK6 is out, is that... Right. It starts like a week after K... The idea is the real hardcore KK fans will have a week to 10 days to read the new book and then jump right in with me on 7. Yes, uh, Kingdom Keepers 6 mm -hmm. is not what you expect. Okay. I will get a lot of emails about it, uh, and that's okay. Um, I think it's going to, um, I think it's going to rattle the Kingdom Keepers community <laughs> somewhat, but these things happen, and again, you know, you go where the story takes you. Yeah. And uh, that's, you know, this, this is a, 
this is a wild story. Six is a wild story. I, I really enjoyed writing Six. Mm-hmm. And, um, I, you know, I don't want to give anything away, but it's, uh, it, it's going to rattle the universe. And that's okay. That's uh, good. <laughs> and in Seven, you know, a lot of it will be determined by uh, readers because we're, we, we need to close the book. But uh, there's some really, you know, it's, for one thing, it takes place somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And there's some, so there's a lot of new in book seven, just tons of new, new this, new that, new that. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, there's some really big, I think, eye-opener things that's going to cause a lot of email. 